This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Hello everybody, this is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show and today I want to make a video that is so important but missed in the raw food community or even the health food community. I do believe a vegan diet, a raw vegan diet is the healthiest way to eat but not because we're going to get more nutrients out of the food but because we're going to get the least toxins from the food which we get from animal products and even cooked food products to a degree. I think the key to eating a good diet is to make the body work very little to get a lot. But when you're making the body work a lot to get very little, that's the opposite effect that we want to happen. The more the body has to work, uh, the more that it's going to take energy from the body, the more sleep we're going to require, and the more it's going to take our body from healing and, and dealing with the things it needs to. Basically, when we eat foods that complicate things, it knocks down our immune system and a great key to good health is keeping a strong immune system for those things that we do not have control over. Well when I look at diet and everything else I've been eating a raw food diet for a long time, a raw vegan diet and I have a lot of friends that are as well. I know a lot of people on a raw vegan diet that are healthy. I also know people on a raw vegan diet that are sick. I know people that eat meat that are healthy and I know people that eat meat that are sick. There's more to it than that. But one of the things I focus on is disease because that's what is interesting to people. It's not health, it's disease. Disease is a wonderful motivator. Here is the problem. When somebody finds out they have a disease, it's usually during the latest stages of disease and it's often too late to do something about it. Now there's no medical machine out there that says when it's too late. So now, no matter what stage you're in, never give up. Don't take a doctor's answer for it. Never give up. However, the sooner you find something is wrong and the sooner you change things, the better chances you ha have of being successful. And one of the ways or probably the major way that I do and suggest is something I don't see a lot of people talking about and that is blood work. But not just blood work. The average blood test is a waste of time and a waste of money. You need to get an extensive, comprehensive, correct blood work and then you need to find somebody who knows how to read it. And I'm going to be doing some videos soon with Dr. Shandell, who has American Metabolic Laboratories. And I just recently took another blood test, which I go every year, sometimes twice a year, to get a full comprehensive test with his longevity blood profile and his cancer blood profile to see and make sure what I'm doing is working for me. And more important, the things that aren't working for me, I can make those corrections now before I actually see disease manifesting. His test, his cancer profile test, for example, can show somebody 10 years prior to them being able to see a cancer tumor on uh, uh, you know, the doctor's test if they're going to develop cancer, if they keep doing the same thing. Yes, if you want to catch it early, that's what I call catching early. Same thing with heart attacks and strokes and things like this, so it's so imperative. Well, we're going to be talking about Dr. Shindell's test here in the future, but today on the show I want to talk a little about uh, nutrients and supplements specifically, and specifically... Uh, synthetic supplements versus natural supplements. Here's the problem. If the food you're eating does not have enough nutrients in them, what gives you the idea that a, a supplement from those foods, a whole food natural supplement, is going to have enough in them? You know, there's a, there's a benefit of taking natural supplements in terms of if you can't get a certain food, but you can get it bottled and shipped here from somewhere else, or a particular food the way it's grown you can get, I'm all in favor of food-based supplements. I'm all in favor of high quality uh, nutrients that our body can't get from our diet, that we can get them from supplementation. But the question comes in, what about uh, synthet synthetic supplements and things like this? And uh, I had a big concern, as very well we all should, about synthetic supplements because there's a lot of toxicity to them. There's a lot of things they add to these things. A good friend of mine, Brian Clement at the Hipp Hippocrates Health Institute, has a whole book of why synthetic supplements are, are, are toxic and bad for the body because of the way they're manufactured. But not all synthetic supplements are the same. And some of them, I will submit to you, can actually save your life. And more recently, if somebody would ask me, and somebody did recently ask me, what's one of the biggest differences I made now from when I first started eating a raw food diet? And I would say I'm taking supplements, but even more so, I'm taking some supplements that aren't just natural or from food. Now, I do try to get all my nutrients from food. I feel that's the best and most important way to get them. And, and I think we should strive to do that. However, the reality is 
because man destroyed the food and the soil that's grown in the food, the food's just not the same. And I do believe now, after doing a lot of research and meeting a lot of people and looking at my blood work as well, I do believe it is impossible to get food bought from a store, even a health food store, and get all the nutrients our body requires to be healthy. That is how low quality, out of season, and unripe picked the food is. Now, if you're growing your food and using good methods of growing, it's a different story. There's a chance you could still get much more nutrients, but still, most likely, not all the nutrients your body needs. I even say the same thing even if you're not on a vegetarian diet, if you're eating animal products. The, the quality of the food is not what it once was. The processing that the body has to take to digest and get what it needs is so much more work today than it ever was before, and we're getting so little out of it that we need to do something. And what I recommend people is to check their, their blood work on a regular basis with somebody who understands and knows what they're doing. And we're going to talk a little bit uh, and talk to Dr. Shindell again. There's many videos on my website with him. But when I go to get my test, uh, basically, I, I see the areas that I need to improve on. And I know I'm getting certain things from my diet, but there are certain things that I'm finding in the blood work that just aren't uh, adding up. Why aren't I getting these things? Whatever. Well, that's another story for another video, and I, I do have other videos on this topic. But the point is, even though the nutrients are in some of the food, it doesn't necessarily going to mean you're going to get it out of it. So what do you do? Well, let me just give you an example of this whole idea of supplements. I'm going to look at an orange. You look at an orange today, and we see an orange, and we what's an orange known for, folks? An orange is known for vitamin C. So an orange is known for vitamin C. And uh, vitamin C... Uh, is, is, is imperative for good health. It helps so many functions of the body, specifically the immune system. And uh, studies have been done on mats and rice and other labs, uh, mat, on mice and rats, and other lab, uh, laboratory uh, studies have been done to show the importance of vitamin C, specifically in stress. And I will tell you as a health teacher, stress is one of the biggest issues we have today when it comes to good health or poor health and so on. It's how do we handle stress. And the test and results show that when we are stressed out, our vitamin C goes up, our demand for vitamin C is more. And in certain lab animals and lab tests, vitamin C might automatically be produced, but that's not the same way in humans. Humans need to get a, an extensive amount of vitamin C. And uh, the tests are out there, you can go and look and see the results. But vitamin C is imperative. And if I ask people that they take a vitamin C supplement, some people say, well, I eat a lot of oranges. And then some people say, well, I take a natural supplement. And then somebody wise would say, yes, I do supplement. And let me just give you an example of why I decided to take some supplements that uh, are synthetic and bioidentical to the body. And I had to research and find out which ones might be better than others. And in research, you can find out the way and the process these things are used, what fillers they use. And yes, not all synthetic supplements are the same. But let me give you an example of this. Vitamin C, uh, there's a, uh, this is a, a powder and there's also a capsule. The capsule I take, uh, one capsule is 1,000 mgs of vitamin C. 1,000. Uh, this is a powder which is... Uh, uh, 5,000 uh, mg's of vitamin C. And there's a more than one scoop here. So there's no one teaspoon, one teaspoon contain five grams or 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C. And on uh, the capsules, you have one capsule is 1,000. That's 1,000 grams of vitamin C or milligrams of vitamin C, 1,000 mg milligrams of vitamin C uh, in one capsule of the one at least I take. And, and, and the typical one in the store is 1,000, by the way. Let me just give you an example. To get 1,000 uh, milligrams of vitamin C, how much you'll have to eat to get that in the average orange today. This is a small orange. Let's use the example of a big orange. There's medium and there's big. In a medium-sized orange, there's maybe 50 to 60 milligrams of vitamin C. In a big orange, is, let's say around 90 to 100. So let's say 100 milligrams of vitamin C. So, uh, so I'd have to eat to get a thousand, enough in one capsule of vitamin C, I would have to eat 10 oranges, 10 oranges to get the equivalent to one milligram of vitamin C in one capsule. So somebody might say, well, 10 oranges, that's not too bad. I could do that, especially if the oranges taste good. Here's the thing, folks. I don't care if you're supplementing or if you are eating 10 oranges, one 
thousand milligrams of vitamin C is nothing. It's garbage. It's nothing to it. And, and, and it's, it's, it's as good as if you take a nothing. That's how a small amount it is when you look at the big picture. On the average day, I take 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C. That's, that's 10 capsules, 10 small capsules I pop in my mouth, plus whatever I'm getting from my oranges or anything else. But I would have to eat, uh, that's 10 times, so 10 oranges would be 1,000 times 10. So I'd have to eat 100 oranges a day to get the amount of, amount of vitamin C that I'm getting from my supplements. Now this is just an example, folks. You could do this with every other vitamin, and we will. We can look at this with every other vitamin or nutrient or so on. So uh, it, it's really important we start getting serious about what we actually need. I used to be under the belief that I can get everything I need from my diet and supplements were natural and I don't need to take them. Well, uh, I'm, I'm fully in the opposite direction now because I know what a benefit it is to get this. And uh, all the studies have been done, a uh, tremendous amount of vitamin C, and that's not even a tremendous amount, 10,000. 10, uh, but uh, you can get, uh, you know, even more and be perfectly fine and protect yourself, keeping your immune system uh, up there, and, and that's what it's about. And if you can find a way to do that without having to eat uh, 100 oranges a day and, and, or, or do these crazy things, it's just not in food. That's the problem. That's the problem. And only since I started taking these blood tests that I realized that we can't get these things from food. And somebody might say, well, what about a, a, a natural uh, supplement, a, a supplement that's a vitamin C powder or something like that? Folks, you'd have to take a half a bottle of certain vitamin, natural vitamin C powders to get as the same amount as you're going to get from bioidentical supp supplementation. And I'm just using vitamin C as an example. So uh, this is just an example why it's really important to get a good blood test, make sure you're doing what's working for you. And by all means, folks, if you're eating a diet and everything you're eating is working for you, you do not need anything. Congratulations, you figured it out. But I haven't yet any, met anyone yet who's gotten a good extensive blood work and, 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 and they're perfectly fine. Now, I met people that said they got their blood work done and they're doing fine, but uh, the blood work they're getting, the average blood test is, is nothing. You know, to get a good blood test, and I, I suggest you go to American Metabolic Laboratories and you see the longevity blood profile test to see what I mean. And I would ask Dr. Shindell, well, can anyone take tests like this? Any doctor? They go, yeah, but most of them don't know how to read them or don't know what they mean. And uh, I'm here to be healthy, folks. I believe in a raw food diet. I eat a raw vegan diet, and it's not the raw vegan diet that's lacking nutrients. Again, I think the raw vegan diet is the best way to go when you consider the processing of the food and getting out the nutrients it actually has. By far, the raw vegan diet is the way to go. But as for actual nutrients that we need, I think every diet today should be supplemented, not with the, the hottest fat or the most thing that's popular, no, but what we need. And I take a good handful of vitamins and nutrients in these days uh, that I get. I'm eating the diet that I'm eating, and, and my blood work is confirming what I'm doing, if it's working or if it's not. And we want to be sure we do not want to play a guessing game with our health and wait, like most people, they wake up one day, they feel great one day, and the next day they have a tumor or something else. Do something about it now, folks. And, and, and do your best. Do something about it now to do your best. So there are many different uh, things out there when it comes to, to health and healing, but uh, I think a good amount of supplements should be part of the regular diet today. I know some of you might disagree with what I'm saying, and please get your blood work checked by a good laboratory before you make that kind of comment or something like that. Again, I do not believe supplements should be replacing the food. There are things in food that we don't even know, so half of them things probably aren't even discovered yet that are beneficial to our body. Food is real and food is alive. But for those of you that say a supplement is dead, no, a supplement is not dead. Because if you take a supplement, uh, first of all, if it's dead, why are you worried about taking it if it's, it's not being bad for your body? But it's not dead. And I'll give you an example. There are certain over-the-counter medications that would seem they're dead. They're just a pill on, on a shelf in a store. And if they were truly dead, they would never harm you no matter how many you took. You know, and, and hopefully you're wise enough to know that it's very easy to overdose on some of the medication that's in the store. So pills aren't actually dead. Uh, and if you're getting the right supplements that are bioidentical to the body, the body can use them to its benefit. And that's why I take supplements, especially things like vitamin C and everything else. So uh, I, I would hope 
uh, people would, would have an open mind to consider that and look more into it. I'm going to be posting another video with Dr. Shandell and his test. And don't mix up my words. Or raw food, raw vegan is the way to go, folks. Some people say, well, if, if you need nutrients, aren't there nutrients in meat and things like this? Yes, there are. But you have a choice. You want to take supplements and eat uh, uh, fruits and vegetables? Or do you want to take supplements and eat meat, dead animals? I'll stick to the fruits and vegetables. That's plan A of our creator. Um, but, uh, but, but I am taking supplements to assure what I'm doing is, is helping. And supplements should be a short-term solution to a long-term problem. Uh, that's what they should be. We should figure out a way ultimately to get everything we need from food. And that's my goal ultimately, is to figure out how I can get this on a natural diet. How I can just eat food and get everything I need. Whether it's growing food myself, or getting foods through a bottle uh, in a whole form or a supplement form. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But until I can to ignore that there are supplements out that help me short term until I get it, or even long term, however long it takes me to figure it out, I'm certainly going to take advantage of the, the, the technology that's out there and use it to my advantage to help my situation. And I believe we should all do the same. So put your comments or questions below the video. I'll be doing another uh, interview here with Dr. Shindell real soon. And check out his other videos on my website. Check out all the other videos. And remember, raw food is the way to go, folks. Uh, so never neglect that. But have an open mind to supplementation as well. Until then, have a great day and a great raw life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.